This is what you call a black beard algae infestation. This stuff has been growing all over my 3D background. It looks absolutely horrible. I've been putting it off for long enough and it's finally time for me to get rid of this thing completely. Not only am I going to show you guys how to get rid of all this black beard algae, but I'm going to do it without removing the fish from my tank. That's right. Get ready. Let's go. Now, I'm not going to waste a bunch of time buttering you up and keeping you here for a lot longer than you need to be if all you want is the answer. The answer is hydrogen peroxide, guys. I'm going to use hydrogen peroxide to kill this algae, but I'm going to show you the exact method that I'm doing it in order to keep the fish safe without having to remove them. Full credit goes to my man Luis Navarro from the Seachem team who gave me this awesome tip just to make sure I can sleep well at night. Now it's not rocket science guys, you can see how I got the tank set up. I'm going to drain the tank with my water pump while I'm also filling the tank with my water hose. Very simple. What this does is just ensure that no matter how much hydrogen peroxide you use, you don't have to worry about overdosing it, overusing it, any kind of problems happening with your fish. Because we're going to attack that black beard algae, but as soon as that hydrogen peroxide gets mixed into the water, it's going to get sucked right out of the tank. Now, because I'm about to add some chlorinated tap water directly into the tank, I'm going to dose it with some safe, which is going to remove that chlorine from the tap water, keeping the water safe for the fish. I'm using a quarter teaspoon, only one dose, which is about 300 gallons. So I'm basically double dosing this 150 gallon. It's going to be just fine. For those of you that don't know, safe does the same job as prime is just in a powder form and much more concentrated it's hydrogen peroxide time you can pick this thing up at your local supermarket or your pharmacy it's the three percent solution nothing special about it it's on every shelf in america get the bottle that comes with the spray nozzle if you can because as you can see very easy to just spray the crap out of this background and apply as much of this hydrogen peroxide as i possibly can before my wrist and my fingers get tired of squeezing this thing so for instructional purposes i'm only going to spray this left side of the tank first why because i want to give it a few days after spraying this stuff down and then comparing it with the right side of the tank to see if i can see any difference between the left and the right side that way it'll be pretty obvious whether this hydrogen peroxide did anything or not as you've probably guessed by now i don't have any calculations for you as to how much hydrogen peroxide you should use or not which is why i'm showing you this same clip of footage for so long it's mainly to show you how much hydrogen peroxide i'm actually using that may not be good for the youtube algorithm if people get bored and click away but i'm doing it for the education so do me a favor, hit that like button real quick. I'm simply spraying as much as I can over as much algae as I can that's not submerged. Whatever amounts of it do mix into the water, and yes, most of it will, it's okay for two main reasons. One, hydrogen peroxide quickly breaks down to oxygen and hydrogen, two gases that simply escape from the tank. And two, I'm draining that water while filling the tank with fresh water. This is how I ensure that no matter how much I use, the fish aren't going to be affected by it. Okay, we're done draining now and we're just going to fill the tank up. So I'm going to go ahead and dose another dose of safe. Even though I dosed it earlier, remember we were taking all that water and everything in it right out of the tank. So now that we're going to fill, one more dose of safe. Now, I have to mention this side note. As you can see, I don't have any plants in this tank. Hydrogen peroxide can be very detrimental to your aquatic plants. I mean, blackbeard algae is a plant and I'm using peroxide to kill it. So that should tell you a lot. If you've got a planted tank, you can use the same drain and fill method, but you're going to want to apply the peroxide by simply brushing or dosing a smaller amount of it directly on the plant to prevent overdoing it. I'll show you what I mean about brushing in a minute. Another tactic to fight blackbeard algae growing on plants is to add more CO2 to the tank. It's a well-known fact that a lack of CO2 can cause blackbeard algae growth. I highly recommend Seachem's Excel either dosed directly in the tank or brushed onto the plants themselves. But you also so want to be careful not to overuse excel because it can be harmful to your fish when overdosed remember your plants want co2 but your fish don't one day later and here's where we are i do see a significant reduction in the blackbeard algae already take a good look at the output valves with no algae and look at the output valve on the right side that i didn't even spray it's got a ton of blackbeard algae here's the entire right side of the tank pretty much the same not a big difference 
and the left side is significantly less. So I do see some progress only one day later. Now at the bottom of the tank where this Blackbeard algae stayed submerged, that didn't really have much change at all. Now fast forward one more day, we're on day three. And on day three, it's looking even better. I even see a little reduction in the Blackbeard algae at the bottom over here where we didn't even get to spray, but obviously some of it was in the water. But on day three, I do see even more improvement and take a good look at the fish these guys are absolutely popping they have had no effect at all from the hydrogen peroxide so i'm happy to see that check this out about a week after i did the hydrogen peroxide look at that guys it's almost completely gone look at the bottom here where i didn't get to spray see all that black beard algae still there look at the other half of the tank this is what it looked like when we started See all the blackbeard algae, but look at that left side of the background. Completely gone. 100% gone. Check out the output of the FX6. Super clean, no algae on it. Look at the other one. Disgusting. <laughs> Full of blackbeard algae. And look at the other side. Completely clean. Fast forward four days later. Today, I wanna to do the exact same process on the other side of the tank so we can get rid of that Blackbeard algae. But first, I wanna show you what the other side still looks like today. Four days later and there's still absolutely no Blackbeard algae on that background. It's all over there where I didn't do anything to it. And it's all here at the bottom where I never got a chance to spray the hydrogen peroxide. But today, we're gonna spray that entire right side, and I'm gonna try to see if I got a little tactic for that bottom algae that's going on down there as well. Check out the output right there. Bunch of algae growing on that output. Why? Because there's very, very heavy flow right at the output, obviously, and the blackbeard algae loves that stuff. But look at the other one. Still completely clean and bare. Now there is a little bit of green algae on the glass right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. That's just from regular feeding and the amount of lights that I have on the tank. But that blackbeard algae is what I'm concerned with and making sure that none of it grows back. There's not even a hint of blackbeard algae on that background. So let's continue. We're gonna attack this side and get this tank good to go. Same process as before guys. We're gonna drain the tank and then also fill it at the same time. Nothing different this time around. Now, just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and dose prime because I am adding chlorinated tap water into the tank. Yes, I understand that even though I dose with prime, it's also getting sucked right back out of the tank. This isn't an exact science, guys, all right? So calm down in the comments before you get all logical on me. The amount of chlorine that's in this tap water, yes, there is some, but the fish have to be exposed to the chlorine for a considerable amount of time before it actually causes them harm they're not going to die instantly just because some chlorine goes into the tank. But what the prime is going to do, some of it is going to go out the tank down the drain. Some of it is going to mix this into the water and stay in the tank. Don't sue me, guys, because this isn't a science experiment, okay, guys? I know how some of y'all get in the comments. Bruh. I dosed 200 gallons worth, and after we get it even lower and finish spraying, I may dose it again. Now, you don't have to use prime. If you wanted to use some other type of dechlorinator, you could use whichever one you want. But Prime has never failed me, so I will never fail it. We're spraying the background just like before, but don't worry, I won't put you through that whole thing again. So the tank drained low enough where I was able to get as low as possible with leaving some water for the fish. I cut the pump off and I'm gonna go ahead and dose Prime again as the tank continues to fill with that tap water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my next method to attack that blackbeard algae that's all the way across the bottom. I'm removing my one and only piece of decor from the tank just so that I can spray it outside the tank and just let it sit out there. This thing is loaded with blackbeard algae. I don't know if you guys can see it, if the camera's focusing on it. Safe haven for the blackbeard algae. And you can see it's only growing on this side. The back side that doesn't get any light, completely clean. No algae on it at all. Top half sprayed, now we're about to attack the bottom, but I do want to show you this real quick, guys. Take a look at the 450, clearing up really nice and smooth. We're on our way there, baby. Yes, sir. For this brushing method, it's going to be very simple, too. I'm going to grab a cup, I'm going to open up my hydrogen peroxide bottle, 
and just pour it into the cup so that I can use my brush and dip it in there. Now I did run out from the smaller bottle. So I had some reserve, gonna fill it a little more. And that's the same 3% hydrogen peroxide, even though it's all blurry, you're just gonna have to trust me guys. And what we're gonna do is take my handy dandy brush. We're gonna dip it and we're gonna brush it onto the background. Here we go. So because the tank is filling up pretty quickly and I can't see down underneath the water level, I'm drain it all over again. So who can tell me essentially what's happening here? That's right, it's 100% water change. And you're gonna see that the fish are gonna be absolutely fine because they don't care about anything that's in that old water. All that's in there is nitrates. I'm giving them fresh, new, clean water. Yeah, it's got a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in there, but we're gonna flush that stuff out and it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. And we're gonna prove it right now on camera. All right, let's hit it. I don't wanna wait too long because I don't wanna lose that power that the hydrogen peroxide has by being out in the open air and out in the open light. We're just gonna dip. And watch me nay nay. There's not much to this brushing part. I'm just painting it onto the background basically. Nothing too difficult to do. Yo Kev, it's getting uh, kind of shallow over here. Bruh, you telling me? So we're not gonna drain anymore, so I'm getting rid of the pump. Just let that tank fill up. These dudes are kind of low over here. They knew what was good for them. They get over there to that side. They needed a little help. Brushing on the hydrogen peroxide is the next best way of applying it to these parts that are submerged in the water. I'd always rather do it this way than just leaving hydrogen peroxide in the water itself. Listen guys, we cannot be mad at the things that we have to do to these tanks because we choose to keep these tanks, right? So it's on us to keep them clean, to keep them beautiful. So it's all part of the journey. It's all part of the hobby. It's all part of the lifestyle. Enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna keep that big piece of wood decor out of the tank, let it sit out. And we're just gonna fill the tank back up. Guess what I'm gonna do now, guys? Oh yeah, we need one more dose of prime. 200 gallons worth, cause now we're just gonna fill the whole tank up with tap water. That's it. Now we're in water change mode. Quick temperature check. By the way, this is the thermometer right here. Good to go. Let's watch this baby fill up. As Soon as we get about halfway with the water level, I'll turn the filters back on. Get that water moving and cycling. Full disclosure, guys, because I know I got some hawks out there that don't miss a thing. I did have to remove one of the fish from this tank because he did develop some cloudy eye. He's in that quarantine tank at the bottom left of the screen. Now, did he get it from the hydrogen peroxide? Did he get it from physically scraping himself against the background? Who knows? But every other fish in this tank is doing absolutely fantastic. So today is only one day later, and unfortunately, I ran out of days because this video needs to be uploaded tomorrow, actually in a few hours. So one day later, I do see significant improvement on that right-hand side. The left hand side is still completely clean. I would have loved to show you guys the whole thing completely clean, but this video has to go up. There is no doubt in my mind that all of that Blackbeard algae is gonna be completely gone. And if you wanna see some updated footage of that tank with that Blackbeard algae completely gone, you're gonna be able to find it right there in my new Discord server. That's right, go join Discord. It's a cool, cool place. I'll be posting a lot over there, so make sure that you check it out. And if you got any other issues with your water as far as cloudiness or green algae, check that video out right there. I'll see you on the other side. Peace.